Welcome to the Password Reset Implementation Insights. Today we're going to cover how do I get started with Password Reset. So let's have a look at it. So firstly, how useful is Password Reset? Well, Password Reset is a high volume request on many service desks today. It's a source of frustration for end users and often absorbs a disproportionate amount of time for the service desk agents. In these modern times, it can also be a security gap. Invert is the user who's requesting a password reset, the legitimate user. ServiceNow provides a modern approach to password reset, either through self-service or agent assisted. How do I get started with password reset and what are the key implementation considerations? First, you need to load the application into your instance via integration hub spokes for AD, Azure, Google and Okta. From San Diego, the platform security team has introduced the key management framework that enhances the security of basic crypto operations on the platform. As part of these changes, password reset application needs to update the older Glide Encrypt functions to use these new encrypt decrypt methods for retrieval of sensitive data. In addition, from San Diego, there's an enhanced virtual agent change password support leveraging the VA custom component to render change password inputs and integrate into third party systems. Next, we need to determine how and who can raise a password reset. Is it all employees, IT staff only? IT staff with exception of sensitive groups like security or executives. These decisions need to be made as part of the configuration. And then the how is there are various methods, self-service portal, Slack, Teams, Virtual Agent, Windows Login Screen, ServiceNow Login Screen, and also mobile applications. Again, these have to be decided on. Next, is really down to how the enterprise is configured. So where are the user accounts and where are those passwords stored? Are they locally on the ServiceNow instance? Are they part of AD or Azure AD? Are they Google directory, Okta or other areas? This is really important to understand what the architecture of the enterprise is and how password reset will integrate into there. How will users identity be verified and how many options should be available? ServiceNow supports a configurable set of questions, providing a bank of questions that the user can then fill in their preferred answers and at the time of password reset, would be presented with a subset of those questions. Other technologies such as SMS, Google Authenticator and email can also be used. It comes down to a choice of which ones and how many. In addition, should privileged groups such as execs or people working in sensitive areas have additional forms of verification applied as well. Password expiry notifications can be sent to users when the password is close to expiring. The time period and frequency of these notifications can be configured as well as the contents within those notifications. Notifications should be sent on traditional channels like email as well as newer channels like the mobile app. 
from San Diego for password expiration data is consumed from the credential store. When service now, the password complexity can be configured along with the use of things like Google Recapture to ensure that it's valid. If you're using the out-of-box questions, then this should be reviewed and amended as required. By default, the number of questions a user can answer during enrollment are five, and the number of questions that a user will be challenged on a password reset is defaulted to three. There is a minimum length that is definable for each answer. You can also define when users should be reminded to enroll, such as through emails, weekly, monthly, and what date and time that should be sent. Will users access password reset by invoking the change password topic in Virtual Agent? Any user trying to change their password from Virtual Agent by invoking the change password topic will see a custom change password component that renders within Virtual Agent. This component will validate and make sure to collect old and new passwords from the users at once. By doing so, ensures this is more secure as the passwords are not stored insecurely even for runtime. How many failed attempts are allowed before lockout? The maximum number of attempts a user can attempt a password reset before they locked out is defaulted to three, though this can be changed. If they are unsuccessful, they are locked out for a period of time, the default being 1,440 minutes. And if they have been successful in resetting their password, they can be blocked from resetting the password again for a period of time. Again, in this case, the default is 1,440 minutes. Let's have a look at this from the user experience, both self-service and agent assisted. Self-service, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the user is directed to enter information about themselves and then verify that information either by, say, the Q&A, email or other options such as voice and facial are available if those services are something that the customer has subscribed to. Service Desk, again, the Service Desk will expect the user to answer correctly the challenge questions and then the agent will be presented with a new password for the user requesting it and they've got a phonetic guide to support the agent to help them through changing the password on behalf of the user. So I hope this has given you some valuable insights into implementation considerations for ServiceNow password reset.